Rick Premji says, with current market rent going up, Section 8 has also increased the payment. Do you recommend Section 8 now? <laughs> well, Rick, it depends. <laughs> it depends. I'll tell you what happened recently. Our one single Section 8 resident who's been with us 25 years, uh, we just had kept the rents artificially low. And I just told my team, I said, we just cannot do this any longer. Property taxes, insurance, we just cannot do this any longer. We notified her that we were going up very significantly on the rent. Uh, and we notified the housing authority as well. So the housing authority said, too bad, so sad. We're not gonna raise it any more than we were gonna raise it. Well, guess what? she came up with the money. So, uh, and we kind of had our suspicions driving a Mercedes and having beautiful hair and nails. So <laughs> she might she might have some resources that we don't know about. But um, so in any case, uh, we're getting our full rent. So Rick, if you can get your full rent and you're not, you're not being hurt by being in the Section 8 program, then yeah, absolutely you can do that. His second part of that is, are you planning to offer rent level to your buyers or still only lease options? So I'm not, uh, you know, we do have existing renters that we're renewing, but we are not any longer offering the rent level in public or in, in the public domain.